as we won uh, billions and billions of dollars of debt relief and social investment uh, for the countries that need it most, we were compelled to look at the activity of predatory hedge funds because we were devastated to see that predatory hedge funds, known as vulture funds, were targeting and actually collecting the aid monies that we were winning to build schools and hospitals in some of the poorest countries in the world. In 2008, uh, and again, this is a small selection of, uh, of, of vulture, or excuse me, of hedge funds, the ones that we call vulture funds. In 2008, a vulture fund known as Donegal and Associates collected millions of dollars of debt relief uh, that we had won for Zambia to build schools. Uh, they were targeting and collecting the very monies we were winning to help the poorest people in the world. As an aside, as actually was alluded to by some of the previous uh, speakers, uh, these predatory hedge funds were collecting debt relief aid monies that were funded by U.S. taxpayer dollars, but at the same time avoided paying taxes, U.S. taxes, by being domiciled in tax havens. So Jubilee USA was compelled to be involved uh, in this case and other cases because these so-called vulture funds were targeting the aid monies we won for the world's poorest economies. Uh, further, the mission of our coalition is to protect the poor, uh, and that became front and center uh, in various predatory hedge fund cases uh, because we're concerned about the precedent um, of hedge funds exploiting poor countries and being able to receive that money and how they then are able to exploit debt restructuring and other laws to further continue, uh, continue uh, that type of behavior. So, you know, that brings us to the question, more specifically, what is a vulture fund or predatory hedge fund? Uh, and, you know, right now we've seen specifically what that's meant for Greece, Detroit, and Argentina, and we're looking at Puerto Rico now with some of these same hedge funds in mind to seeing what it might mean uh, for the island of Puerto Rico. The current under the surface makes the mainstream get so nervous. It's time for purpose, for news to serve us. Not with propaganda they use to hurt us.